The new film Sundown takes us to the beaches of Mexico and into the life of a wealthy family, including Neil, played by Academy Award nominated Tim Roth. But all isn't as it seems, as tensions rise when a distant emergency cuts their trip short. Take a look. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Don't you want to see the children? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. When? Don't know. And Tim joins us now. Welcome, Tim. Hi, yeah. Let's talk about this film. There's so much to unpack. It was a very personal project uh, for the writer and director, right? What would you say are the core themes of the film? You know, what we do, what we generally, me and Michelle, as we've worked before, actually, it's, it's usually a personal story on some level. The first time uh, I worked with him, it was playing an end-of-life nurse, a palliative nurse, and he'd watched a family member go through that. Neil was written specifically for you, right? So yeah. what was it about the, this role, Neil, that you connected with the most? I liked, I liked the, the, the uh, initial concept that he came to me with, which is, um, it was originally uh, the, the title that we first had for it was Driftwood, somebody that's just drifting through life and in such a, a, a in, in a place that he doesn't seem to belong, you know, as the observer wonders why. I do want to mention also, you know, shot in Acapulco and it plays a character in the film as well. What was it like to shoot there? I mean, it's such beautiful scenery in this movie. What is shown in the film, which which I which I know is shown in the film, is the disparity, the wealth disparity, is is extraordinary. The idea of a of a, of this particular white guy on that particular beach at this time is quite an unusual um, thing to see in itself. You know, it, it it's a place that has a history of of glamour that isn't there anymore, but it is still uh, it is a it has a, a history of violence and corruption and that is there. And so we had to film within that. It's public you knowledge know, now that you will be reprising the Marvel Universe <laughs> character for She-Hulk. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell me about Abomination, how it fits into this uh, next story? I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I, you know, they came to me and said, hey, do you fancy uh, doing, I was like, what a, what a, what a crazy idea. Um, I, so yeah, of course. Um, what, I, what can I say about it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't know about that, that stuff. You know, he's he's uh, one of the characters in a. In, I, I think I can't remember. Is it eight, nine episodes that they that they've done? I I, yeah. I always wonder. You know, how much is makeup and how much is CGI for a character like With that? This, we did we did the movement of him and the other monstrous elements that float through it, which are is extraordinary. We did that. We did that stuff on the day, and then they take over in post production. So I'm sure they're hard at it at the moment that's awesome and yeah now the last thing i want to ask you tim is there's so many interesting facts about you if you look online just like a light uh -oh. google of you there's so many things so i just want to ask you a few true or false nothing scandalous just fun uh -oh. thing true or false you sometimes tend bar yeah there was the, a couple of places where i would do that yeah, uh, yeah do you yeah. have a fa favorite drink of choice you make or drink no i just i just thought i found it funny and this one's what strikes me the most, because I know this to be true, but I want to hear you talk about it. You're a master of accents. When I started doing to play Americans, I think I was pretty bad at it. Um, but I worked out a system with the dialect coaches that I've worked with and still work with over the years, um, a, a way of doing it, breaking down a script, bringing it back. I mean, and, and getting very picky about it and then being able to forget it so you can play the character. Yeah. Well, listen, man, it's great to meet you and chat with you. I really do love you and everything you do. I want to make Thanks. sure everyone checks out Sundown in select theaters now. And you can catch the director doing a Q&A at the IFC Center this weekend. So check it out. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, man.